Hi, and welcome to another class. In this video, we are going to go over how to add texture to your illustration by using brushes. So the very first thing is you need to download a brush set. You can create them. I'll go over that in another video, maybe next week. But for now, if you go to a website like Creative Market and just search like Illustrator brushes, something like that, you will be able to download a set. And I'll go through how to install that into Illustrator. And if you are not already a member of Creative Market, I highly recommend going ahead and signing up for an account because you can download free stuff every single week. So on Mondays, they load six new things that you can download. Sometimes they're patterns, sometimes they're brushes, sometimes um, fonts, actually a lot of times fonts. And I mean, they even have complete templates for like your website. So it's all different and they change it every Monday. I've gotten a lot of really good stuff off of here both pay for and free. So the brush set that I will be using is from the Spoon Graphics blog. So if you go to this website, and I'll leave a link below so you can download it, um, you just have to scroll down and download the free vector dry brush strokes. So when you download it, you will get a zipped folder like this. All you have to do is open the folder and you will see there are two different files in here. The way that I'm opening it in Illustrator, this one that has the preview will be the one that you want to open. So once you have opened up a new document in Illustrator, go ahead and create something really simple. I'm going to create a little monster because I've been creating monsters and posting them on Instagram lately. Um, so I am going to use the blob brush and just make something really, really quickly. And when you are using the brushes and adding strokes in, you don't have to worry about being perfect, so don't stress about that too much. Okay, once you have created something that you like, click on your brushes panel, and if you do not see it on the left hand side, go to window, and then brushes. So these are the standard ones that just come in Illustrator. If you click on this that looks like books, you'll see that I already have these in here, but you can go to other library, find the file that you opened earlier, and select it and open. It's going to pop up somewhere on your screen. Usually mine's left of the center and you'll see all of the brushes in this set. So I just go through and add them. I usually know which ones I want to begin with so I can just add in a couple. But if you really want to play around with them I mean, you can leave this open. I just, I don't like having it there. And you can also move that entire window into one of these panels. Select the part of your illustration that you would like to add some texture to. For this, I'm going to do the body of the monster. And I really like a few of these brushes to add in the texture. So as you can see, it instantly adds a little bit of detail into your file. If you go to your stroke panel, and once again, if you don't see it on the left, go to window and stroke. 
when you select your brush, it automatically puts it in at one point. You can change this. Sometimes it looks too large, then I will decrease it until I'm happy. And if you actually wanted more, you can go a little bit higher. I usually do stay at the one point or maybe the 0.75. Um, so just go through and add in texture to the different parts of the file that you would like. And I don't add it to everything. I really keep it at a minimal because you can go a little overboard with it. And once again, if you made a mistake or you want to go back a step, you can hit Command Z on your keyboard. So I'm going to make a background for this and it is already set up with the same as the document size that I have so I'm just going to hit OK. I'm going to go back to swatches and if you do not see your swatches go to window and swatches. And you can use your align panel to align your background to your artboard. You can find it up here at the very top center or you can find it in your align panel on your left hand side. Once again, if you don't see it, go to window and align and make sure that you see align to and select align to artboard. Sometimes this little last row is not there. It'll look exactly like this. So hit this menu and show options and you will see the drop down for align to artboard. And then I'm going to right click, arrange, send to back. You can really make this any color that you want. I think I'm going to stick with the light pink. So I'm going to group everything except for the background color. And if you are changing the size of your illustration and you are completely done editing it. I would recommend still having one saved before you do this and create a second one after. So if you are scaling this, you need to expand everything. So object and expand. Because if you don't, it will scale funny. And I have had where I've kind of had the eyes are shut so it's a line and it has the texture on it. If, uh, if you start scaling it down I mean the texture will just take over almost the entire shape of the face so you need to expand it so when you're scaling up and down it stays the exact same size. So with the monster created I'm going to line it to the center and then up the size a little bit. So as you can see, I mean the monster is fine, it's cute, um, but if you want to add another dimension to your artwork, you can go in and add some detail to your background. So you can do that with the blob brush, just create some different shapes. You can even do it with the pen tool or the line tool. So for instance, if I just do a line, go back to the brushes, and this one has a little bit more detail to it. Let me switch the color of this so you can see it a little bit better. Um, so you can see that it has, you can see that it's added that dry brush stroke to the background. So you could blend it in a little bit more by decreasing the opacity. So that's one way of adding some texture, because I mean you can even increase the size and just do that for different places. In the background, you can use the blob brush tool. I mean, this isn't the shape I would use, but just to show you, you can go in and add different shapes throughout. 
I like to use the blob brush and do like dotted lines or some different doodles. And you can go in and add some texture that way. And just repeat that throughout your background. So I'm going to go through and do this really quickly. And so that you select all of these for your background, if you select one and then go to your select similar objects, hit the drop down and I'm just going to select opacity. It will select all of them and then just add on the texture that you like. Okay, and if you want to preview it so that you're not seeing these textures hanging off of the artboard, go ahead and create another square or rectangle the same size as your artboard. Align it to the center and then change it to no fill and no stroke. Select everything and hit Command 7. So that is a quick and easy way of adding texture into your illustrations. Hope to see you in the next class and don't forget to hit subscribe and follow me on any of my social media. Bye!